What's up YouTube? It's Torhan and we're bringing you episode 5 of our How to Play Minecraft. Uh, where we left off, we had actually moved our base over to the new area we're going to be building in. Which is right here. And um, what I've done is I cleared out a little bit. Gave us a little bit of room to work with. Um, over here. Takes us this way. Uh, but but what we want to do is go exploring and figure out the best place to build our home. But first, we need a shovel and another pickaxe. And the axe is always handy for cutting down trees we may come across. Some extra sticks. An extra sword. We're going to go caving, actually. Nearby and see what we have around us. Try to find some more iron. Iron would be pretty helpful right about now. Oh, but we may as well plant our seeds, at least, while we're gone. And our sugar cane. At least get that stuff started growing. Alright, so... Looks like it's going to be nighttime, so we should probably sleep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the sun is setting. Come on, set faster. Uh, do we have all the tools we're going to need? Oh, torches. Did I have any already made? I don't. Wow. Alright. Then we'll make some. Twenty-one torches should do us well enough for a little while. I swear the sun was setting. Oh, well, we'll figure it out in a moment. All right. Well, should be fairly safe, I think, for a moment at least. I think there's some water somewhere over here. Oh, that's a little far. But we want our plants and our crops to grow. So... We will plant them here. We're not going to plant them all, we're just going to plant enough. These though will plant all of them. Alright, so, will those grow while we go exploring? Oh, hopefully by the time we come back later we have some food. Food would be good. Oh, I'm retarded. There is water nearby, but... Yeah, we may as well. See, I wasn't even paying attention. I bet somebody's yelling at me, You passed water! Oh well. At least now we know what's there.
And... Gives us a good area to build some... To do our farming in. We want to torch it up though. That way nothing's going to spawn down here. And let's see... There. And there. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can get it to fill in properly all the way around. And we'll replace this with some actual dirt. There we go. Wonderful. Ah, uh, it's not going to do it. But we can do this. There we go. And it should fill in, fill in. Now I'm going to have to go collect all those seeds I just put down. Because this is much easier to get to from our little house. Actually, I could probably build... I wouldn't be surprised if our house wasn't like... Our little room we built is right back over here somewhere. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Yep, there it is right there. Sweetness. So what we'll do is we'll barricade this off from baddies and we'll set up our little farm station right here. That works out pretty well actually. And what we'll do is we'll actually make it out of cobble. Yay, for cobble! I'm keeping fail block placing. That's great. I'm a talented one, aren't I? Oh, wow. Yeah, we can fill this in. Doesn't need to be as deep as it was. Let's see if I have any cobble. I do. Thank you. Alright. And this side will fill in. There we go. And... I think we want to leave a little exit here. Yeah. We'll do that for now. And... Let us eat so we don't die of hunger. And I need to pick up some of this stuff anyways. I need to torch it up some more. No, what I'm doing is, you notice how the water fills in? It basically creates what's called an infinite water source, and so it's not a running water pool. It makes it so the water isn't constantly moving, which makes it look better, and it makes it, an infinite water source means you can use a bucket and take water from it forever. It doesn't ever run out, which is what we want to have in these you want to have infinite water sources, because then you don't run out of water. And I'm going to fall, but that's alright. I think we'll create a pathway around that is... actually made out of stone. Or cobblestone.
That way it's easy to get around. We don't walk over our crops. And let's see. Yeah, we'll make it so it's cobblestone all the way around the edge that we walk on. And then if it's getting to be nighttime, which it is, we can go sleep. And then go snag our crops that we left over there. Doo -doo -doo, sleeping is fun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you guys heard that, that is my ringtone for my phone. For all my messages. And let's go snag our stuff we left over here last night. Because we didn't realize there was that much water that close. But, I mean, it's not like we really wasted anything. We lost a couple seeds, but I can pick those back up on the way over there. See, it's a good thing we didn't plant everything. Actually, I'm going to grab some of this sand. Wow. Good thing we have an extra shovel. I like using the sand with the reeds because I think it grows faster on it. I may be wrong. But I think that the... To me, it seems like the reeds grow... F or the sugar cane grows faster on the sand. That's just me. I'm probably wrong. And hopefully somebody will tell me if I am or not. Grabbing some more seeds while we're at it. Hey look, cave. Yeah, this is going to be an awesome area to live in, I think. There's lots of caves around. There's lots of places to explore. I think it's going to be a pretty good area. And I'll eventually build a door here. I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. There's a zomber somewhere close by. I bet you he's on the other side of the wall. He's stalking me. Whatever will I do? Yeah, I think that he's in the cave that's beside me over there. Alright. Nope, I want it. Nah, right there. Thank you. Stupid block placement. I want it to be just a little taller in here. It's also good to have it taller so that the seeds grow better. And because we're trying to build our little thing around. I want to tie it back into the edge there. But I don't want to lose water that I use for planting. Because reeds have to be next to water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the reeds around the edges. And keep the water in the middle. So we have 39 sand. Alright. So... Yeah, that'll be good. And you have to have water on one side. So if you have, if I put a block here, there's no water for the corner, so I can't plant anything there. Which is not what we want to do. So we'll bring down these. I only got seven seeds now. Urgh. 
Uh, that's not a big deal. We can plant the seven we have. We have at least enough for two um, pieces of bread. So that's not bad at all. And then that'll grow. And if we're coming down from there... Let's go ahead and make it a straight across. A cut straight across. To get out. So there. I'll come down here and put a window over here later. But I do want to finish picking up the ceiling here. I'll probably eventually replace this with um, actual cobblestone up top. But until then... Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, I'll raise it so it's the same height as the rest. There we go. Now we have our little farming area down here. We'll make some more permanent steps going up instead of gravel. And we'll build this up here too. That was a little bit cleaner. And look, we just replaced some of that coal we used to make torches. Yay for coal! And then we do need to cr start creating an animal farm. Um, Alright, I was like, do I have any more? I do. Okay. I want to do an animal farm with some pigs and some cows. Uh, and I also want to do chickens. That will come later, though. Initially, though, we're just going to stick... Because we need wheat to breed them. And we'll get into the whole animal breeding thing at some point later. I'll get that rest of that coal at some point. Okay, so here's where we're coming down. Alright, so... Like that. Okay, so then we'll build this up. Like so. I should probably build a... I should make a thing down here for the... Um, to put the wheat in and stuff, like a, a chest. So I don't have to go up to my main chest when I want to get rid of it. That is something to consider. Yay, I know I just got rid of this, but... Okay, there we go. And... there. So now the way up is this. And it comes straight down here. Okay. And it goes out. May as well move this over one.
So if I can place blocks properly there, that'd be nice. And we're out. So we'll swap over to gravel. Watch, I'm going to have to place the block in an emergency. I'm going to fail pl place the block and I'll die. Alright, that's not a bad little area for now. I really should just... Oh, I think I have some pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. I thought I had some pumpkins. Nope, I haven't found any pumpkins yet. Darn. Alright. So, we'll toss that in there, that in there, that, that. We'll keep the food, some dirt, we'll toss the flint. Uh, we need to make another pick. Yeah, I definitely need to make another pick or two. Because I will run out of these. And another shovel. Pick, pick, shovel. May as well make one more. Shovel. Alright, and then we'll leave this here. You know, I better take some wood. Planks. The crafting table is out there already. Oh, yeah, it's nighttime. All right, so we got our farm back up. So the farm's back and working and growing. Let's go find ourselves a place to build our home, which requires us to go up. Hey look, mushroom. Now we just need some red mushrooms and we'll be get set for uh, uh with a red mushroom you can create you can create a bowl and with the red mushroom you can make yourself mushroom soup or a stew. Which is just another way to fill yourself up with food. So for those of you that don't want to kill the helpless animals you can always make yourself mushroom stew. And it actually does it does give you quite a bit of health back, so it's not that bad of an idea. I actually don't mind eating it if I have it available. Let's see. I just want to get up top here so I can see what we have. Besides a dark, deep cave. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Come play with me. Oh, there's a few of them down here. And a creeper. Wow. Can you not get up? Well, he could get up if you really wanted to. So let's not give him a chance to chase me. So nobody's stalking me just yet, thank goodness. Hi, sheep. Wow, that one over there looks pretty cool. Alright, let's change our settings here, though. Oh, no. No, 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 wrong one. Alright, let's change it to far. And let's see what we have to work with.
More caviness. Nice. So there's that up there. Hmm. That's always the hard part, is figuring out exactly where you want to do your... your, your permanent home. I was considering for my permanent home, like, making it span across a couple mountaintops and using some bridges to connect it. Which I think could look pretty cool if done right. Uh, that over there looks promising, though, that top peak up there. Let's go check it out. Hopefully we don't run into some skeletons hiding under the trees. Waiting to snipe us with their... Freaking aimbot. Lighting glitch. Spiders. Okay. So up here is not bad. Let's go check out over here, though. That tickled. All right. Instead of sheep, these things should be mountain goats. That's what they remind me of. They're always on the freaking mountains. Ooh, up here is going to be awesome. Oh, hey, look, pumpkins. Woo, woo, I found me some pumpkins. Pumpkins make great lanterns. Uh, you can make jack-o'-lanterns if you convert a, combine a pumpkin and a torch together. And they make some great ways to light up a room. They're pretty cool. So I want to make a pumpkin farm and start making some jack-o'-lanterns to light up the rooms. But I think if we were to build up here, we could do something pretty awesome with this. Because it's nice and wide and a good size. And it does go quite a way. So we could even do a multi-level home across the top of this one. And that would be kind of pretty cool looking. Yeah, I like that idea. Ooh, that's a drop. We could fill that in though, that's not too big of a deal. And we could even bridge across over there and make like a tower type deal. You know, like the main house here. Bridge over to that. Bridge over to there. You know, we can do a little couple type bridge things. I think I like this area for a house. And we could always fill these in. Fill it in with dirt. So it's a little safer. See? Easy peasy. Yeah, I think this would be a good area to make a house in. We'll make the, uh, I don't know what we're going to call the house yet, but it'll be pretty epic when it's done. At least that is the goal. So now what we need to do is go find ourselves. We know where we want to build our house at. Now we need to find ourselves some iron. Because it would be nice to have some iron tools. And an iron sword and some armor. You know, things to protect us from the evil baddies. Woo, there we go. So what we want to do is head back to our... Oh, look, a zombie. Sucker. Don't mess with me. Let's 
right. You mess with Toron, you die. I'll kill you dead. All right. Back here to our little area. Though I could always just build the house down here. But I kind of want something that's high up. Oh wait, actually, I guess we could go check out up there, huh? I don't think we went up there yet. To see. I like the high peak that we just saw, but I'm willing to go... Up there. That would be kind of awesome, too. So much jumping. I wish I had like rocket boots where I could fly. Oh, missed it. There we go. Okay, forget that other place. We're going to build up there. Or we can build there and have like the perfect zombie defense with water all around us. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be gathering resources for a bit, but we can either build it up there. Which is still be pretty good zombie defense. Or down there. On top of it. We could level that out. And build it right there. And then we have water all around us. That could be kind of cool. Or we could bridge from one to the other. And connect them. That would be cool too. There's a lot of epic scenery in this uh, in this seed. So we have a few options. So I'm going to think about it and figure out what I think would be more awesome to do. Or, or what would be a lot more fun for me. You know, and hopefully you guys like it as well. So that's what we're going to do. But I think this video is going to end here. We were doing some exploring. We got our farm back up and we're running. And we looked at a few of the areas that we're thinking of building in. So the next one's going to definitely be us caving. Because we haven't really done much caving yet. And I want to show you guys the whole gathering you resources thing. I went a long way. Home! Come back here! Evil zombies are going to eat me. Alright. Yay, we're home. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, you guys. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to go cave exploring and see what we can find. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. And stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.